<laughs> uh, no, I'm doing like glossy white and some uh, some brushed nickel uh, mm. handles. Ah, nickel. Cool handles. <sighs> What's up, everyone? Hi, ho, wee, wee. I bet you those nickel handles cost a pretty penny. Oh, hey, -o. hey, <laughs> cool scarf, Tony. Hi, ho, wee, wee, everyone. Yeah. Thanks, did you guys JT. get snow? Yeah, we did. Not that was too bad. bad. Yeah. It's just cold, frigid today here. Frigid Friday, oh, everybody. Yeah. That's why I'm wearing the scarf. And it was and just because I I put on a scarf to like shovel the snow or snow blow and. I just never took it off. Yeah. What's up, Graham? Brushed nickel. Yeah, that's exactly. <laughs> Not just your normal nickel. They brush it. Yep. You get all the tangles. <laughs> it's one handsome looking nickel. They brushed Ooh, it up. Nickel. No tangles. Dipped in shea butter. Mm hmm. Purchased uh, from a street fair. <laughs> uh, do you know that they have people that do like. They do like chiseling, or I don't know, for coins and stuff. So they just take currency. And, I've seen it on Reddit. Yeah, and it's insane the level of detail they could do because they can like clear it completely and then put like a skull on there, or like, I, and it's like really uh, super detailed. It's illegal to face in currency. Yes, I, I there's something in. I watched one of those videos and I was like, I'm pretty sure this is illegal. And there's like a disclaimer that, like, I don't know. He had some workaround. Well, if, if you get, yeah, if you get like, what do you call it? Rejected. I don't know if they do it for coins, but for dollar bills, they like age them out or whatever. Like, uh, mm, out of current, cancel, out of they, circulation. They, they cancel them. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Maybe that's what he does. Yeah. <laughs> Are you and telling me my doubloons aren't it? legitimate? Uh, <laughs> that's a good point. <laughs> if you've got doubloons, Biz, spend them now. <laughs> Yeah. Before they find out. <laughs> What's up, Misha? All right, let's get right into some. Oh, do we lose Jim? Delicious stories. I've nope. got a brand new oh, trio of stories yeah. ready for AIPD. I think that we <laughs> should spend some V bones and love that German D. Illegitimate. I heard, the sound, I heard the sound of someone joining or leaving. Oh, so. okay. Maybe. Jim, are you there? Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> there was just enough pause there. I was like, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> did that on purpose. Uh, all right. Get ready for store one. Uh, this first prompt is by Corey. Thank you, Corey. Hey. Uh, <laughs> you are Jack the Hamster. Your owner moves out of their house and leaves you behind. You've been inside all your life, and all you know of the outside world is that everything eats you everything eats and you are small oh, okay you mm -hmm. you'll have to prepare for this new life on the outside Cory, Cory, Cory in the house Cory in the house what's up Cairo? knowing emily the hamster is going to be murderous that is yeah. i imagine especially yeah rainbow hamster <laughs> The first thing you need to do is find a home. Yeah, that's pretty important. There are many places where animals can live, but they all have one thing in common. They must be willing to take them in. Mm. What? Ah, uh, we need foster parents. Uh, yeah, yeah. We, we know we're not capable of living on our own. We're like, the only chance of us surviving is adoption. Yeah. It'll be like three's company. Yeah. We get some roommates who take us in. Come and crawl we, in our door. We go to a hamster adoption agency. Okay. I like you, that. You go to a hamster adoption. Yeah. Take a piss on these wood <laughs> chips. <laughs> Hamsters are like vampires. They have to be allowed in. Yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> squeak, squeak. Uh, I am a hamster. If you want to survive as a hamster, then you are going to have to get used to living with other animals. So you head off into the wilderness. Completely mm -hmm. blast by Tony's idea. Yeah, I know. But uh, interesting that it's hopping on the the uh, the hamster idea. Yeah. Oh yeah. I'm fine with us heading off into the wilderness. Yeah. You arrive at the... I'm gonna run away. The biggest underground hamster adoption seat in the woods. 
Mm. We'll find you a family, kid. Yeah. yeah. Stick with us after this musical interlude. Yes or no? Do you like things being shoved up your butt? Mm-hmm. No? Oh, it's going to be hard to find you <laughs> yeah. a family. Well, do you like being <laughs> shoved up butts? Well, now we're talking. <laughs> okay. You arrive at a large tree and are greeted by a squirrel named. Oh, okay. Here we go. Let's get it. Yeah. We got to get another tiny friend. Somebody's. Squirrel named Squirrel. Squirrel. (laughs) Squirrel. Hey there, little furry friend. I see you are in need of a home. Hmm. Uh Uh, I'm I'm a little sus of him being like, please. I, I, I love to help hamsters. Yeah. You pick up your bindle of pedala, uh, pellets. Oh, a bindle. Good word. And <laughs> move in with Squirrel. The difference between a bindle and a bundle is a stick. Ah. You live happily with Squirrel sure. and his friend for a few months, but the oh. relationship between you and the Squirrel does not last. Clean up your dishes. Although living with them, I don't um, use dishes. You feel like they are missing something that you have. Oh, you kind of think you're better than them, kind of. Uh, we do. Yeah. We came from a home. Yeah. This this tree knot is filthy. Yeah. You're I need not- room service. You get in a fight with your roommates. Yeah. I stepped on your nuts again. Can you clip, put them up off the floor? They're everywhere. And you call <laughs> them forest trash. Oh. <laughs> Ooh. Big singer. Wow. One night <laughs> after getting drunk on a bottle of stolen cognac, yeah, you wow. insult the squirrel king. Oh. The next day, <laughs> the squ- a drunken king. squirrel attack you. Hey, fuck you. I voted yeah. for that guy, even though I didn't have to. Yeah. Oh, you okay? You discover the squirrel has a secret meth lab. You don't know me, Jerry. (laughs) Squirrel, you seem really jittery for a squirrel. Yeah. Yeah. As soon as I said it, Biz, I realized the mistake of my. (laughs) They vote on the squirrel king. (laughs) Well, it's a fake vote where every vote, every ballot is just squirrel king. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Mm-hmm. Uh, you discover. The squirrel has a secret meth lab. Hmm. I bet you meth head is given a squirrel meth. I wonder what happened. Oh, yeah. You end up losing an eye and being horribly traumatized. Oh. Oh. The squirrels burn down your treehouse and run off with your beloved bird. No. The only thing <gasps> left in this world. Oh, no. No. I didn't even know. I know. I... I didn't know we had a beloved bird, but now that I know it's gone, I miss it so much. <laughs> I'm going to say you uh, request a, a meeting with the Squirrel King. Yeah. Oh, okay. I lost a fucking eye because of you, buddy. I'm a hamster. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a city <laughs> hamster. Hey. <laughs> Forget about it. Uh, I'm living Is here. You- just give me a wheel. That's all I need. And some wood shavings. <laughs> I'm a simple hamster. Yeah. Just give me my bird and I'll go. Oh, nice emojis, Jim. Mm. <laughs> Squirrel King, you lost an eye, little hamster man. Oh. Well, maybe we can help each other out. Oh, serendipitous. You negotiate with the squirrel leader to gain the use of his minions. Oh, we, we've got some power now. Holy shit. You say highway to the methadone zone. Yeah. <laughs> methadone. Oh. Methadone. You head to the red highway and take out a few of the car drivers for their car parts. Oh, now this oh, is turning into Mad Max. Out. Yeah. This is like the Geico commercial. Wait, what? Remember with the squirrels? I mean, this is a hamster, but when they make the cars crash. Huh. <laughs> No, no, I missed that one. It's one of the <laughs> earliest ones. Okay. I, I promise you it I, exists. I believe you. Mm. What? Yeah. Don't doubt. Don't you doubt me. Hamtaro runs Barter Town. 
You fashion a crude gun from the car parts. Yeah, okay. Yeah, we're going straight uh, Bad and, Baxi here. And armor for your minions. And set out to rescue Bird. Rescue Rangers. From the dreaded... Leave that blank. Rescue Ranger. Whoa! When you're in danger. Oh. You begin your attacks on the mountain stronghold. With the help of your new friends, you take out a few key members. Ah, oh, man, this has become so epic. I'm going to say you find Bird tied up. Okay. Mm. Tied up with a never-ending apple that can be stretched like Play-Doh. Yep. What? That's a redemption. <laughs> he can't see it. Oh, uh, okay. yeah. Tied up with an apple in her mouth. Yeah. Okay. That what try can to be pull stretched. Out the apple, it just stretches. It's a never-ending apple that can be stretched like Play-Doh. How many members have the keys? Mountain stronghold or big rock? Yeah, I think it's a big rock in the park. Is there a mountain stronghold? Yeah, I'm thinking like like Hitler's eagle's nest in the mountains. Oh, okay. You use the time you take to untie the girl to speak to her. Okay. And maybe we say something. Say. <laughs> the girl bird says. Thank you, Jack. You saved me, Hamtaro. Whoa. Oh, thank you. Whoa. I was so hungry. <laughs> 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 you have to replay that. So we decided to focus on rescuing her. Yeah. She called? This is a really odd thing for her to say. So yeah. Fast. Uh, you think? <laughs> I love how fast Maybe it's Thank that. you. Maybe I was like so hungry. <laughs> This is a really for her to decide to focus on rescuing her. I think she's having this girl. She's speaking faster than I can. I don't know, Colgate. Yeah, it's funny that Oprah just didn't say the 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 the. Yeah, why did it? Why did it like speed up? Like it like gained momentum. I feel like I'm gonna break my computer if I keep doing that. Like Porky Pig or something. Uh, you see that bird. Uh, has been, uh, I, I don't want to get too dark here, but. Traumatized. You see, it? that bird has been traumatized. Yeah, like. Yeah. Uh, what were you going to say? You'll never know. <laughs> oh my God, Jason. Oh my God. Oh, it's obvious that she has been kept in a cage for a while. Okay. You, hey, hold on for a second. You approach the tied up girl. And throw an apple to her. Eat up. You, you're stuttering like an idiot. The apple stretches upon impact. Oh. Yeah. Okay, okay, I'll say that. Yeah. This Come is from Willy Wonka's factory. Yeah. You, ha ha. Check this out. The girl struggles to get the stuck apple off her feet. You, hey, you're a genius. Ah, uh, is that? We could Three use this as a weapon. Marks. Yeah. Uh, you decide to use the apple in your war against the squirrels. Mm. I'll say the sticky, the sticky apple in your war against the squirrels. It's like apple taffy. Uh, you, taffy tapples? You stop <laughs> the squirrel. That's Taffy, a good name. Taffy tapples. Army, and it's. They call me Happy Tapples. Cracks. You are Happy Tapples. And they are all yeah. tangled up in the Taffy apple. You 
uh, confront the king. The squirrel king. You, let's see you escape this one. Aha! The squirrel leader puts his hands up and says, I give up. You, good. Now untie the girl before I kill you. Ah. Now, is, are, are we saying untie the girl or I'm going to kill you? Or do we mean we're going to kill you after you untie the girl? Oh. oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, th I think uh, we made it ambiguous, but you know we're going to do both. Oh, wow. Yeah. Sorry, Squirrel King. You can't burn my frickin' house down and kidnap my girlfriend bird. And expect to get away with it. And she goes, oh, we're just friends. And I go, oh, uh, yeah. Uh, kill her. <laughs> kill her, too. How so about her you... you? How about, let's say this. The squirrel... Unties the bird. You take one of the squirrel leader's eyes. <gasps> yep, eye for an eye. <laughs> we lost our eye, you're going to lose your eye, Squirrel King. Then kill him. <gasps> oh, oh it seems a Ooh. little. Yeah. I guess. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. Fine. Paying him back in order. <laughs> your minions to attack him. Oh, okay, there you go. Keep our hands clean. The king escapes and you take his eye patch to replace your own. Eh. Oh, that was the, the squirrel king. Touches her wings yeah. and tries to fly away. You wait. You try to stop the girl from leaving. Bird, okay, bird flies away. And to the sunset, and you hear her yell. Let's see how fast you can say it, Oprah. Will Oprah say it though? Yeah, I can make her say it. Okay, I can make her say it. <laughs> Bird flies away into the sunset and you hear her yell. You I really enjoy this. She said something different than what she wrote in her last letter. I added a couple of those. You walk into the trees and find your bird with her new friends. Oh my god, she flies away, she goes, Jesus! Wow. I didn't expect Alright, that was getting creepy. Take a hit, hamster bear. She's a bit of an Sloth. idiot when she flies. She has to make the like the flapping sound with her mouth. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna say, give me my apple back. Ah, uh, yeah. You don't deserve it. I gave it to someone special. No, someone special ain't you. Oh. The birds. Ha ha. You didn't even get to eat it, you sissy. Ooh, no. At this no point, need for you that. realize that this is a really stupid idea. You realize now that this is all the squirrels' fault. Uh, the squirrels have been thoroughly defeated. I think you gotta start looking within. Or at yeah. the birds. Maybe we should go back uh, to the, the city. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say you realize you have no home here. Uh yeah. I'm a city hamster. Mm. The wilderness is not for me. Can't fit in. Oh! Now, you leave the mountain and head back to the hamlet. <gasps> Your name is now Snotty Snouts. You, thanks a lot, you little <laughs> bastard. <laughs> we left our Snotty Snouts. That's the perfect fucking <laughs> ending. Let's get the moral. Everybody, what's the moral of the story? Snotty Snouts. Snotty Snouts. Oh, Snotty Snouts, you're my hero. I'm no hero. I've done terrible things. Thanks a lot, you little <laughs> you bastard. Jack. What? It's not the mountain. It's the mole. What?
No, oh, this is where the story would help. end. There are no more choices in this story. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. All right. Why, why, why a note? Yeah. Snotty Snout sounds like a really dangerous furry <laughs> username. <laughs> yeah, <No>. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> Any furry username is dangerous to me. Oh. Right. Moving <laughs> on to story two. You might find yourself reading story two and ask yourself, how did I get here? Uh, this prompt is from Biz. Thank you, Biz. And it is a oh, continuation. Uh, you are Elliot Chokeman, the son of the infamous Stinky Pinky cult leader. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The, th the year is 2140, and a rival sect called the Wet Willies is out to assassinate you. Oh. You must put an end to this the only way you know how. Dot, dot, dot. Who wrote this? Uh, Biz. Oh, well, you know, nobody beats the Biz. Whoa! By becoming their next victim. Whoa! Oh my the god! The thing you have to do is choose your victims. There are two ways to go about it. Either you can take them on yourself or hire someone else. What's the point of being a cult leader if you don't have mooks? Yeah. Mm. Or maybe he's, maybe he's saying... You know, like they're gonna, he's gonna give him, put himself up as bait. You know uh, what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Cult bait. Uh, you stage a big falling out with the stinky pinkies and convince the wet willies. That you have defected. They agree to help you in exchange for not killing you when they kill you. <laughs> you decide to use them as okay. bait, so you tell them where the stinky pinks hide out. Okay, okay, that, that'll build okay. trust. Yes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So you're not gonna kill me when you kill me? Hmm. I won't kill you when I kill you. <laughs> Yes? Question mark? Yeah, it's a little confusing. <laughs> exactly. This is gonna really throw the wet willies off the trail. Mm -hmm. You point out the stinky hole and the willies venture inside into a trap. <laughs> Classic willy behavior. Listen, we're gonna talk about it all the time. We're even gonna plan it and stage it. But we're not going to kill you. We're just going to say it all the damn time. Yeah, I promise. You do this and I won't kill you when I kill you. <laughs> Their leader, Mike Willie Hunter, yeah. the founder of the Wet Willies, mm -hmm. stays behind with you. For security. Yep. Hey, Wet Willie. Oh, come on. Just because uh, you're named after it doesn't mean you have to do yeah. it all the time. <laughs> Now I'm going to get an ear infection. This had better work, Willie says nervously, and this better not be some elaborate trick to get me out of your way once you've killed the old man. Oh. Mm. And he's kind of, he's, a, he's mm. understandably suspicious. That was a good uh, idea. Damn it. Like, where's the old man again? Hmm? Uh, I'm going to say you, you ask, um, you request to meet the old man. Hmm. Uh. I think it's like saying you're fa you're killing your own father to earn their trust, right? Oh. Uh, yeah. Like, uh... Oh, shit. Graham redeemed Kool-Aid Man. Wow. It's or maybe it's the Kool-Aid Man. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know... Okay, I'm gonna say he oh. takes... Okay. Oh, he takes you to oh, wow. their... He takes you to the cult leader who is the Kool-Aid Man. Ah, okay. There you go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm getting like the Warriors vibes from this universe, like r rival cults. Willies yeah. come yeah, out yeah. and play. And they're kind of like fresh cults, so they don't have a lot of members. So essentially, they're, yeah, they're just gangs. Yeah. I mean, what I are... mean it's a made up cult. Yeah.
<laughs> and a rope. Thank you. The cultists <laughs> open fire when you arrive and you are caught in the crossfire. The Kool-Aid man shrugs it off though and fights his way through the cultists to reach you. Stinky pinkies come out to play. <laughs> wow. It's a violent cult. This is scary too. If you saw like a battle going on and just the Kool-Aid man charging right for you, he's just like <laughs> swishing people out of the way. I think this betrayal went south somewhere. Yeah, what was our plan exactly? No. <laughs> <laughs> We're literally killing both factions. Everything's like completely being decimated. Uh, the Kool-Aid man reaches you. And asks It's like, you, hey, it's nice to meet you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Heard nice a lot to about me. You. Nice to make your acquaintance. And asks you a question <laughs> uh to reveal where your true alliances lie. Oh, is it like a riddle? We'll see, yeah. Which okay. of these flavors <laughs> is not a cooling? Do you flavor? like jalapeno? <laughs> I love jalapenos. You say. The Kool-Aid punches you in the face and runs off. That was not a <laughs> Oh, that's so stupid. <laughs> I was expecting this deep question, and it's like, yeah. do you like jalapenos? Yes. <laughs> if, you film that, that would be a, if you film that, that would be a hilarious sketch. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my! <laughs> <laughs> I guess, yeah, Kool Aid Man is not a fan of spicy foods. I like sweet things. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! I think he would have punched us regardless of our answer. I think yeah. so too. Yeah, I think mm -hmm, I mm -hmm. think any answer was a wrong answer. You reel from the hydrating punch and see the Kool-Aid man lift a stinky pinky into his open ju uh, jug. Yeah. Oh, mm. oh gross. Like it contamination. begins to melt. Yes, yep. Hydro punch. Oh, his pinky. If you stick your pinky in Kool-Aid, it would turn pink. <laughs> oh. But would it yeah, be stinky? It would be a pinky, pink pinky. Yeah. <laughs> He's converting people one by one. He's turning the stinky pinkies into pinky pinkies. I must away. I will be back. Oh, very British. He runs off and you follow him down into the sewers. Oh, it style. You have arrived at the hideout of the stinky pinkies. <laughs> of course. Of course we're in the sewers. Stinky pinkies got to be in a stinky, stinky. stinky place. Yeah. It wasn't a test. He just wanted to do it. No, yeah, he's... He, there's no way he trusts us. I'm gonna say you, uh, you follow a trail of Kool Aid on the ground. Yeah. Kool Aid packets. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. When he's feeding is when he's his weakest. Mm hmm. He's most vulnerable when he's melting a man inside of him. You follow the trail of packets until you find yourself in front of the Stinky Pinky's hideout. It is a crude underground lair with many tunnels. I'm telling you, this is like... Tunnel. This is scary. This is getting mm -hmm. real scary. I'm afraid of tunnels. Oh, tunnels! So many possibilities. I don't want to get lost. I don't got a map <laughs> down here. You hear a pack of wet willies. Uh, pursuing you. They sound like this. Like, yeah. You push forward, <laughs> desperate to find the hideout. And a few seconds later, you hear a bunch of. Ow! Ugh! Ugh! Mm. The scent of the willies gets stronger, and you push yourself harder <laughs> to escape. Yeah, willies can smell pretty bad. cultists come out of a side tunnel and begin shooting at you. Yeah, Federico, how many times are we going to find this damn hideout? Yeah. Yeah. We keep going in a big circle. 
All right, 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 right. Ah, oh, we're back here again. Right, 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 right. Back again. Ah, oh, damn. Why does not? Uh, why does this not work? <laughs> All right, got a little action going on. I feel like okay. Mm -hmm. So we're yeah, hide, hide and cover. You run down a sewer tunnel to escape the disgusting cultists. Yeah. Oh, dis disgusting. <laughs> Which and one of you cultists took a shit? In the foul smegma chamber. Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 God. What are those willies? Smegma sure to follow. It's all got to end up somewhere, right? Mm -hmm. <gasps> Collect You turn and swords. see them coming and regrettably <laughs> think of the greatest insult you can think of. Willie, oh. scat. The willies, Sick burn. yeah, the wet willies Pretty good. begin to run, and you uh, seem pretty satisfied with yourself <laughs> it until yep. until you realize that they were running from the Kool Aid Man. Mm -hmm. uh, who appears right behind you. Whispers in your ear. And whispers right in your ear. Yeah. Do you like jalapenos? <laughs> <laughs> Think carefully. <gasps> oh. You're next. Wow. You oh. don't have time to turn around before the Kool-Aid man hits you with a barrage of packets and seems to melt into the shadows. <laughs> ow, 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 ow. Uh, what? Paper cuts. Ow, paper cuts. Why would yeah. you do something so scary followed up by something so silly? He completely destroyed all the tension you set up there. Ow! Ooh! Berries? Who drinks the berries one? I'm just saying you open one of the packets and insert your pinky. Oh, okay. okay. Like, uh, what was that candy back in the day? It was like powder. Dip and sticks. Yeah, with a little. Dip uh, and sticks. Yeah, Is that what it was it. called? And then you could eat the stick. And it was all sugar. Yeah, even the stick was made out of sugar. Yeah. Mm hmm I got the candy stick. Oh, water is dumped on you from above, mixing with the packets. Yeah. Uh oh, oh creating mm. a super Kool Aid slosh pile. Is this a Joker situation? You open the packet and find a big lump of red stuff. Jalapenos. You remember <laughs> that you love jalapenos, so this looks pretty good to you. Yep. That's why the Kool Aid Man was mad at our answer, because if we <laughs> knew, we'd want to eat the Kool Aid Man. Oh, yeah. Because it's he's so, made out of jalapenos, apparently. Is it like jalapeno-flavored Kool-Aid? Yeah. Mm. In Mexico. That would be funny. <laughs> you consume the jalapeno-flavored Kool-Aid. Nothing like a refreshing, spicy glass of Kool-Aid. Uh, so you know everyone they have, would like, have to try it once. They have that like Russian roulette game with the chocolate bullets, where one of them has a ghost pepper in it. <laughs> Oh, oh whoa. You should do, they should do that with Kool-Aid, where it's like six packets of Kool-Aid. You make them all, they're all red, but one of them is jalapeno spicy. No. Wow. Well, Jagged Meat has a, uh, uh, like, spicy pepper beer. And, really? you know, I tried it as a, a joke, but I really liked it. It's just weird, mm. though, because then you want to keep drinking. <laughs> so it's like, but that the drink <laughs> is making it spicy. I don't know. It's very strange, <laughs> but it was good. Jalapeno, oh yeah. Uh, you consume the jalapeno <laughs> flavored Kool Aid and begin to transform into a not so ordinary looking guy. Thanks, Oprah. So you begin cool. to feel the Kool Aid yeah. kicking in and have a surge of confidence. Let's see oh. how these jalapenos taste. Oh, dang. We're like super strong now. Yeah. 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 You continue uh, drinking all the jalapenos 
A jalapeno packets. Yeah. That guy, he's uh he's not so he's not so ordinary. <laughs> There's something <laughs> different about that guy. That's not yeah, so ordinary. <laughs> uh, what is it? Until the Kool-Aid man. Reemerges and says, "It's about time I told you the truth about Kool Aid." About your huh? <laughs> I thought it was like a, about your father. Oh well, that, yeah. that could be true. I know you killed my father. <laughs> All right, Mister Kool Aid Man. Oh my what's God! The truth. I'm not really an all-loving god. I'm actually a communist from the future. <laughs> That's why he's red. That, yeah. Das uh, uh, Vadanya. <laughs> T-shirt. <laughs> that is the most. You, oh my god! I'm so blown you away. You surge with patriotism. Yeah. As you charge the Kool Aid Man. And I'm proud to be an American, mm -hmm. but at least I know I'm free. <laughs> you swing your fist as he ducked and blocked your attack and punched you right in the side of the head. Communism is dead. Oh, uh, I can already picture the t-shirt now. It's just like a communist Kool-Aid man. <laughs> so you jump inside the Kool-Aid man. Does he have the Lenin? And start open? drinking. Oh, I th yeah, he's, yeah, baby. Wow. He's like wiping wow. away, like jalapeno, or the portrait of that uh, Cuban yes. Cuban guy. Oh yeah, uh, Jay Guevara. Jay, yeah, Abe yeah. Abe Guevara. <laughs> Kool Aid Guevara. <laughs> you think hard about how much you love jalapeno flavored Kool Aid, and as you do, you get pulled into the Kool Aid no! man's body. No, no, it's like the belly of the whale. Yep. I'm gonna say you find. No, uh, we're still for a second. Oh yeah, we're red for a second, and now we're green again. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna say I say you find the corpse of your dead father. Oh, floating around. Oh, we Yikes. were drinking it. Yeah. Gross. Put him in a world of jalapeno. Yes. <laughs> 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 Mm. I yeah. actually love jalapenos. I can identify with you now. The Kool-Aid man body is so strange, you can't help but start to feel a little closer to your dad. I am your father. Oh! Oh, Toby called it, yeah. Yep. What a reveal. <laughs> As he's killing us inside of him. But he promised not to kill us when he's killing us. Yeah. Obi oh. Obi Wan Kulobi. Oh, do we yeah drop that? But you promised. <laughs> well, I guess the wet Mine. Willie's promised. The Kool-Aid man. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah. Is a rogue agent here. You mind meld with your father as you float in the aid. <laughs> And getting the following powers. Yeah. Yes. This is like one of those sensory deprivation tanks. Yeah. It's like em embryonic aid. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Unleash your jalapeno powers. Oh, here we go. Float in the Your aid. mind is linked with the aid itself. <laughs> you can read its memories, control its movement, and even force it to fight. You can also take over any other Kool-Aid man you come across. Oh, we can like Akira with other Kool-Aid. Oh. Or this is like a ghost bender. It's like a uh, Ghostbusters two scenario. Yeah, where they take over the Statue of Liberty. Ah, except instead of the Statue of Liberty, it would be like taking over a giant Vigo who's like sliming yeah. through the city. <laughs> uh you you fight the ur urge to melt completely with the Kool Aid. Yeah, also, I didn't know there were other Kool-Aid men. And Unleash. Yeah, I didn't either. Yeah, I guess there's like... Like the Predator, I guess. <laughs> like mm -hmm. Grape One, and there's like a Berry. 
<laughs> I'm surprised they haven't made a Kool Aid Man movie. Now that I think about it, yeah. I mean, I don't yeah. think that it. How do you have a silent character be your main hero? He Was says, he oh, silent? Yeah. He says, "Oh yeah." Oh yeah. yeah I think he talks. Okay. Uh, you fight the urge to belt complete with the Kool Aid and unleash your jalapeno powers. That'd be a great art movie where it's just Kool Aid and all he says is "Oh yeah" during the whole movie. Mm-hmm. It's like Groot, but That's in different. Cool. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I am cool. Kool-Aid. You need to keep yourself separate or you won't be able to control the Kool-Aid. Obviously. You stay inside the aid as your father attempts to talk sense into you. Oh, oh we're gonna... <laughs> I love that it's picked up the short hand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, we got Nexus. I'm curious. What's the point of gaining these powers if I can't use them to fight my way out? You just don't understand. The true power comes from not using the strength yeah. that you had. Yeah. <laughs> Bullshit. Become cool. <laughs> oh. Yeah, maybe. Your father's voice fills your mind. You must control the aid. <laughs> Father, I'm afraid. Be cool. <laughs> The aid swirls around you, and you burst from the Kool Aid Man. Yeah, there we go. Oh, Born again yeah. from his anus. Yeah. <laughs> oh, his, his, his water. A- his, his his water breaks. Yeah, yep, his uh, anus. Uh, <laughs> 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 oh, Tony. <laughs> I didn't know he had a spout. Yeah. <laughs> now I do. Yeah. You, you, you said, here's my handle, so I figured there'd be someone. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Pieces of glass fly everywhere, and you are born again in aid. Yeah. yeah. There we go. We are the world. I think this is going to have to be another cliffhanger. Yeah. You continue to stay separate from the aid as your dad fills you in on some of the other abilities you gain. You can see in the dark and you have speed. Thanks. Okay. okay. Oh, we cool it. men can see in the dark. So it's kind of like uh, Green Lanterns, you know? Yeah. Uh, like yeah. Of... Everything's red. Yeah. And you have Rose speed. But prepare for the inevitable sugar crash. Yeah. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Eventually you will get diabetes. Mm-hmm. All right. Let's get the moral. Hey, AI, can you tell us what we learned today? You must fight your urge to merge with the Kool-Aid due to a loss like this. <laughs> yeah, everybody's got to fight their urge yeah. to merge. With great cool comes great aid. Mm-hmm. All right. <laughs> that was pretty crazy. Uh, last story of the night. <laughs> it's the last story of the night. Story three. Ding, ding. Uh, this last prompt is brought to you by Bulk Bogan. Thank you, Bulk. The Bulkster. Hey, all you Bulkamaniacs. Bulkamaniacs. Uh, you are Louisiana Johnson, a daring archaeologist, adventurer, and lover. Hmm. You've been... <laughs> a daring lover? Uh, yeah. You've been on... on my business card. <laughs> lover. <laughs> Uh, you've been on the hunt for ancient treasures all around the world, but every attempt falls short of success to some other more popular archaeologist adventurer. Your last chance to prove yourself and obtain the sacred bronze spoon of the Incan King Pachuti, uh, armed with a short whip and a tribli- uh, trilby hat, you travel to the airport only to meet your rival archaeologist. Trilby hat? Is that like the Indiana Jones hat? Yeah. Okay. I'm not going, what? he says. Oh, the plane ride oh. would be too long. <laughs> this is a My <laughs> fucking Emily, man. It's just an airplane flight. <laughs> it won't take that much time. No, no, no. That's our rival oh. saying that. The, rival. Yeah, yeah, the other guy said that. Yeah. I thought oh. it was Emily just wanting to go home again. This is our yeah. fucking opportunity. Yeah. Yeah. I thought we were like Louisiana Johnson. I'm an archaeologist, but I only do really local archaeology. I'm yeah. not going. I'm not traveling far. 
Yeah, why don't we uh, excavate the playground? You are... There. You act... You find a cat turd. Bummed out. But you are actually ecstatic. And then your estranged father, played by Sean Connery, joins you on the flight. <laughs> I named the cat Louisiana. <laughs> uh, and then switch it to Slovakian. Oh, he wears a fedora? Really? Ah, uh, okay. So different. But a fedora? No, he doesn't wear a fedora. I mean, that's not what I understand a fedora to be. And he doesn't no, wear a yeah. vest with it, so. So the fedora that we think that we see people wearing a lot today is more of a trilby. Shorter oh, brim. Okay. Is it? It's shorter then what's brim. What's a fedora? Uh, uh, like old detect, like Dick Tracy's hat or Indiana Jones. The oh. wider brim, same kind of top. A wide brim. I used to work with a guy that wore uh, an Indiana Jones hat to the office. Yeah, well, he worked at a bookstore, but uh -oh. yeah, he'd wear it. Well, still, would he at least take it off when he got inside? Yeah, they make him take it off. Yeah. <laughs> uh, if I remember, otherwise you'd have worn it all day. If I remember, yeah, Federico, he... Slovakian. I kept it up there. We've had it before, I think so. Like about a year after I stopped working there, I saw him like in Meyer, like the grocery store. <laughs> I just didn't say anything. I was, just uh, like, <laughs> was he wearing it? He was wearing that. Oh boy. Oh yeah. You don't want to say anything. He looks at you as if he wants to say something, but don't take the planet take off and land in a remote part of the country where you find yourself surrounded by mountains. Yep, exactly where we wanted to land. Igrigaliaga. Yeah, that's right. That's where that came from. <laughs> Igrigaliaga. Uh, okay. Uh, I predict that this will be incomprehensible. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, I wish we would have just landed at the airport and not directly into the mountains so I, you know, could prepare yeah. myself. But uh, this is fine, I Didn't guess. Didn't you say that about another movie series, JT, the other day? Was it Star Wars? Oh, yeah, Indiana. <laughs> I'm gonna so, say, like Star Wars with a Born series, something like that. Yeah. I'm gonna say you take a uh, rickety old bus to the excavation site. Okay. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. We didn't travel by little red dot on a map. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You spell rickety. R I C K. I'm surprised there's a bus. Why? Not just an ox and a cart. Welcome to the Gigliaga mountain range. <laughs> wow, JT, strong, strong words. Yeah, see? I knew it was something like that. The buzzerite is brutal, the wind blows and the sun bades down upon you. You reach the ancient ruins and look at the impressive structures that were obviously built with great care. The ancient ruins. Yes. <laughs> but hey, they have a bus, but the bus ride was brutal. We should have just walked yeah. it. We're like, ah, oh, our back. Oh, my back is all fucked up. That bus ride was brutal. <laughs> I'll say, you and your father. It's so fucking hot in this look bus. God damn. For the secret entrance to the ancient pyramid. Yeah. Oh God, air conditioning oh. in this country. And the bus driver goes, "Oh, you're trying to get in the pyramid," and he hits like a garage door opener, just like. Brrr. Yeah. <laughs> That's where there we park the buses. <laughs> Yep. You, you stand before the pyramids, hundreds of them, and are surrounded by the desert. What? The two of you walk along the base of the pyramid, but there is no sign of a secret door or tunnel. Hmm. But there's not very good hundreds secret door of tunnel. pyramids. I can't see it. Yeah, mountains are usually cold, yeah, and we're suddenly in a desert, and there's pyramids? You find some strange hieroglyphics. That's normal. Like on the other side of mountains, there are usually a desert. On yeah. The side of the pyramid. Like in Peru. Uh, it could be like Aliens vs. Predator, too, where there's just like a giant underground pyramid. Oh, underground pyramids, uh, of course. An inverted pyramid. Oh. <laughs> like stalactite pyramids. Yeah. yeah. I, I never know which is stalactite and which is stalagmite. 
It's stalactite from the top? Yes. Okay. <laughs> I guess I do know. I know. And, and, and you begin to decipher them. <laughs> yeah. What do the ruins say? The hieroglyph is let to a trapdoor in the ground. It is locked with a large metal keyhole. You walk over to the pyramid and pick up a crudely made metal detector. Uh, uh ancient Egyptian metal detector. Yeah. yeah. You remember it's made what? out of papyrus. Uh, <laughs> you remember when your friend Tony or Oh, I've been there the whole time? Oh, you're getting introed. Hello. Who? I guess so. You were one of the tourists. Yeah. He was only traveling uh, with you because he was attracted. Hey, what are you guys because doing? Because why? What a coincidence. Uh, I fell asleep like a shirt on the bus. <laughs> oh, infinite stalagmites might poke you in the ass. That's a good way to remember that, too. Stalasmites. Uh, your friend Tony is only traveling with you because he attracted to you. Yawns when you talk about your work. I do that with a lot of people. <laughs> the metal detector babes as you move it over the side babes. of the pyramid babes. to the cable. I think he babes. found it. You say, great, <laughs> your dad says. A keyhole. You and your father search. Well, then we just found the keyhole, right? Yeah. Mm. Okay. Dad, Dad, aren't Make you proud it. of me? Not yet. You named yourself after a dog. Mm. <laughs> you walk around the pyramid, searching for a keyhole. No, the pyramid key. has several oh, small no. ledges yeah. that cold hide a keyhole. You used to have to find it. No, no, no. Where are we doing that? <laughs> You shine the flashlight down the keyhole and onto the metal key. We have seen oh. better days. The key has been used in years. The metal is rusted through. The key is too big to fit. The key is in the key. keyhole. Huh. Okay, uh, I think this is that a puzzle. A quick search. Yeah, so we found the key, but it's too big. Mm -hmm. So, you make I'm going to say you, um, you take your gun and you shoot the keyhole. Okay, there you go. That's how you get it. Yeah. Puzzle solved. We know that hundreds of years in the future, someone will have a shooting device. <laughs> That's how Louisiana solves Only the Only then will it be opened. Yep. Or I guess if they're the aliens, you know, that help them build it, they know that. The bullet smashed through the keyhole and into the pyramid wall, leaving a large divot in the stone. Fuck you, grunt. Let's keep looking. Your fetter says disappointed. There was no pause between fuck and you, so it just sounded fuck like you. we said, fuck you, grunt. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, you look around, you, uh, yeah, you turn around, dejected. Turn around. Turn around. And defeated. Until you feel the ground shake. And the pyramid door starts to open. You and your father enter and are, uh, what's, a, what's another word? I've been using amazed a lot. Astounded? Astounded to see. Awe struck. Ah, I just got hit by some awe. A massive we'll stone passageway. This is amazing. Your dad says, Abed, the ancient in chance oh, called would... Freaking built some good masonry. <laughs> wow. Well, the Incans could build some cool. Freaking build some this... good masonry. Dang, this is freaking this is these fucking rocks. These so are radical. These are freaking hard <laughs> stones, son. Are, are you yeah. amazed by this? Am I, am I there or not here? Well, let's find out the secret of the freaking Incans here. Yeah. Wow, they're so freaking strong! Yeah. <laughs> I gotta say, oh, sugar, when I see this. I'm gonna say you uh, you see a large <laughs> statue. Oh, bones. Oh, okay. A statue. Uh, yeah. And the eyes begin to glow red. Ooh! Oh. Well, that ain't a good sign. 
Need some eye drops. <laughs> yeah, it's Ben Stein. He says, "For dry yeah. red eyes, use clear eyes." Does your beach ball the passage have red eyes? Sam's to stretch on forever and every now and then you see other amazing structures like massive statues made of pink granite. Oh, pink granite. Uh, I'm gonna redo that. I'm, we're we're already looking at a large Ooh. statue. I want to know what yeah, this large true. statue. We just ignore it. You shine your flashlight down the passageway and see a large stone statue. Yes. The statue is wearing an old fashioned torridor suit and clutching a crossed mm -hmm. stud and lanzalera in his hand. What? Wow, I, I don't, what? I don't know. Uh, uh, hold on. That that is, a, is a weapon. to a type of sword. Yeah. Well, a what is an estoc? Yeah. And a torridor. A torridor suit. Oh, torridor it's bull, like a bullfighter. Bull yeah. Oh, yeah. interesting. And what's so the lanzalera? 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 Maybe a cape? Lanzallera? <laughs> yeah, I'm looking everything up. Lanzallera. Mm. Huh. Nothing came up. So. Yeah, for Lanzarella. Let's see Lanzarella hashtag on Instagram. <laughs> Arthur, Arthur Lanzarella. You see another Estoc on the ground. <laughs> and, hey. And, and as you pick it up, <laughs> the statue comes to life. Yes, okay. Time to oh. have a... Uh, a fencing match with a giant statue, bullfighter statue. This is it's like Ghostbusters, the first one. Where they fight the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. With S Docs. I like comparing everything to Ghostbusters. The statue swivels around and harsh down the passageway at you. That you raise terrifying. your own weapon and swing. Oh the tip God. sinks into the statue's chest and it stops moving. Oh. Oh, you. Uh, oh, you got, uh, go for it. Go for it. The statue. I was gonna says, say. Ow. Ow. I'm gonna say. You hear the statue. Uh, the the statue starts beeping. Oh. Mm. Bep. Bep. Ancient bep. robot. Bep. Lots of beps. La beps. Bep, 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 you have bep. destroyed my lanzarella. The petinent man will pass. And lights up what in the world your fetter says stepping back you shine your light on the statue oh. and see that it is a voting machine. <laughs> <laughs> Vote for Pharaoh or Pharaoh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, it's a voting hall. Yeah, Ross Perot. Amazing. <laughs> this is an archaeological discovery of the century. These are some yeah. ancient ballots. Ralph Nader? Is that name of first? <laughs> you cast your vote and an ancient I voted sticker. <laughs> yes! <laughs> yes! It gets like... In hieroglyphics. Yeah, yeah. oh my god. <laughs> Incan voting hall of Taha Tanuka. Yeah. <laughs> you look closer at the machine and see that it is heavily damaged and broken. You notice something else. A small red button below the voting screen. Hey, you say your fetter don't respond. Uh, you, that doesn't give a shit. You press uh -oh, the man. button and the spoon, the ancient spoon. Is, Graham, let JT compliment us. How dare you? Is uh, <laughs> dispensed. Graham is the new Nightbot. Yeah, We're better than the fourth Indiana Jones movie. Yeah. Your uh, father yells, You oh, idiot! I was trying to warn you. And then you see a giant rolling. Yeah, you tell him, JT. Wheel of Oaxaca. Out of the passageway behind him, oh, your just a dad giant. hits the stone oh, the statue giant. on the head with his gun and it topples over. The rolling stone blocks your fetters, but he runs back toward you. I was hoping it would generate something different, but it's just like. Mm. 
You're ba we're better than the porn parodies. I'll, I'll take, take that. It. Yeah. Indiana Bones in the Temple of Poon. Mm -hmm. The pyramid rumbles <laughs> as a voice says, "Voting is over." <laughs> the the polls have closed. Yep. Your new Incan president is. Yeah, what's up? What's up, Alan? Hey, Alan. We're live. Mm -hmm. We're alive. On the internet. We are the ancient sect of the stinky pinkins. <laughs> Welcome to the temple of the silver monkey. <laughs> The pyramid begins to crumble around you. You grab the sticker and run. Kirk Fogg says, You have 90 seconds to escape the temple guards! <laughs> the walls of the passageway begin to collapse. Come on, we have to get out of here. Your fetter yells, a large stone slab falls on your fetter and crush him. Jesus oh. Christ! Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, uh, Mac, why? I'm gonna say. He's dead. Save yourself. Your father tells you. Oh, I thought that's we told our father. <laughs> <laughs> we yes, told, yeah. no, hey, save, save yourself. yourself. <laughs> We're gonna get I'm out of here. Save, save yourself, you tell yourself. <laughs> 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 oh, the oh, there you go. Oh, uh, didn't did know what to say? No, oh, no. Let me retry. Or maybe you say to yourself. You tell yourself, save yourself. That's no more confusing than anything M's dropped on us before. I know. I think that. Yeah. No, it, 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 uh, uh, Emily has it in for me. Mm -hmm. Just a mm -hmm. vendetta. Yeah, we just... Oh, there you go. And run down the passageway out of the ruins of the Incan Pyramid. You dive into the chamber with the giant statue in it. What? Why oh, we... no, we're out of the pyramid. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm gonna redo that. Well, I don't know. No, yeah, maybe not. Yeah. Like, you run... The, the ruins oh. of the giant statue can protect us oh. from the crumbling oh, pyramid. Oh, maybe that's what's happening. Okay. Yeah. You hide under the ruins. The ruins. Of the giant statue. <laughs> yeah. As the pyramid crumbles. Yeah, they should add a Scottish voice. It could be one of the UK voices. Yeah, maybe. You okay? I'll have to look through all of them. A day passes until you are rescued by tourists. Yeah. Okay. You saw it crumble. Rick Rickety bus travels. Yeah. <laughs> wow, look at this. As you lay in the hospital, you think about your fetter and how he did to save you. Oh. You feel a great loss, but you are alive. Questions, Eden. Whoa, 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 questions? Okay, hold on. <laughs> if a voting machine has you five cents to vote, how much would the key to open up the pyramid cost? Druhý video you think the voting machine bets me animate three? Whoa! Both good questions. Yeah, yeah. Mm, yeah. <laughs> Where is the key to the pyramid? Štvrtý od objekt saved you from dying in the Incan ruins <laughs> below this country. An American tourist <laughs> exclaims, "They should teach this in school." <laughs> 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 Yeah. yeah, history would be so much more interesting. Yeah. Can we add more stories with that? Questions, Colin? Yeah, interesting questions. Yeah. <laughs> the questions answer themselves. Yeah. <laughs> uh, all right, let's In get Russia, the moral. Questions answer, yeah. I, I think that's good. We got the, we got the spoon. Our father died, uh, but uh, the American tourists seem to love it. Mm -hmm. That was an interesting story. Hey, I can you tell us what we learned from the story? Moral. Moral. 
Sometimes voting is more important than winning. <laughs> the, Hell I, yeah. I feel like this is like... <laughs> Uh, th uh, this is like an episode of like a magic school bus or something like some yeah. kind of like temple mm -hmm. cartoon show that is like yeah. nearing election time. Like but, Dora. but also, wait, kids can't Dora the vote. Explorer. So maybe it's like just sowing maybe the seed. They, maybe in the Incan society they could. Maybe, yeah. <laughs> uh, Incan yeah, why can't kids vote? Why can't well, kids vote, huh? They're probably, a lot of them are probably smarter than some of the idiots voting now. Uh, but no, right. if, we should have if kids could vote, children's voting rights. Jake Paul would be president, so do you really yeah, want that? True. Yeah, take it back. Well, if he wins the vote, what's wrong with that? It's like trying to say that, oh, if women would vote, then a woman would be president. Is that a problem? Jake Paul being president is a problem. Women yeah. vote against women. <laughs> Was the story of voting true. PSA? I think that, yeah, secretly... The Incans, three thousands of years later, the uh, yep. Incans still want you to go out and vote. This is what the countdown calendar meant. Mm -hmm. yeah. The Incans didn't let women vote either. If you're a woman and you walk up to the machine, they just stab you with the S stock. Like, mm -hmm. nope. <laughs> one day we'll know what Alanzarella is. Yeah, one day. <laughs> well, thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, if you're new, we do this every night at 8 p.m. Eastern. We do a trilogy of AI dungeon stories with prompts from users like you. You can go to this link and fill out a Google form, and we'll uh, uh, do your prompt in a future episode. So uh, mm. if you like this, give us a follow. Come back tomorrow and tell your friends and your step Kool-Aid men, your step giant Incan statues. Mm -hmm. Your step Sean Connerys. Mm -hmm. Step Louisiana Johnsons. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, your step daring adventures. Your step squirrel kings, your step hamsters. Your step Uh and see you tomorrow at eight. Bye ho wee way, everybody. Bye ho wee way. Bye ho wee way, everyone. Good morning, wee way. <laughs>